Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Saturday, October 8, 2022. And the Father says, He dwells in you. John 14, 17 Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. In our opening scripture, Pastor says, The Lord Jesus intimated a profound truth many Christians are yet to be conscious of. In Christianity, you are brought into the ever-abiding presence of God. His presence is with you and in you. There is no such thing as, Lord, today I come in your presence. Where have you been all this while? The church building is not the place where we go into the presence of God, or perhaps during worship times for the minister to lead you into the presence of God. You are in his presence, and his presence is in you 24-7. You often hear people quote scriptures like Psalm 100 verse 4 where we read, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless him. That was for the Old Testament folks where God dwelt in the tabernacle and built temples. It was called the tabernacle of his presence. And to go into the presence of God, you had to enter through the gates to the outer courts, then through the holy place to the most holy place which was also called the holies of holies, where God's presence dwelt. But this is not the same with the New Testament. Paul by the Spirit told the church at Corinth, Do you not know and understand that you, that is the church, are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells permanently in you, collectively and individually? That is the Amplified Version of 1 Corinthians 3, 16. Under the New Testament, we have become the temple of God. God now lives in us by His Spirit. We are the tabernacles of His presence today. Don't go looking for the presence of God. You are a carrier of His presence. He now lives in you. Hallelujah. All that you need is to walk in the consciousness of of his ever abiding presence in and with you. Praise God. Kindly make this declaration with me. Say thank you precious Father for granting me the understanding of your abiding presence in me. I walk in this consciousness always as I enjoy the bliss of your glorious presence with and in me. I am a living temple of God, the tabernacle of his presence today. Hallelujah. As your reflection, prayerfully read and meditate on Acts 17, verse 16 to 30, and 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. With Herald of Glory Devotional, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Glorified Christ Lord, heralding the Glorious Church.